All right, cool. So thanks for letting me back in here. I just feel like when I was here the other day, I kind of, I don't know, like I obviously took some time to look at things, but we were so rushed filming that there's got to be more stuff back here. So, okay. um, so you don't mind me just kind of fishing through no, it, man. right? No, oh, check it out. Oh gosh, it's tight, tight squeeze over here. I know there's got to be some stuff over here. I mean, like I didn't even notice this. I didn't even notice this Naomi board last time. So. So I'll check that out. I'll just fish through this stuff for a little bit if that's cool. All right, I'm gonna hand this off to you and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. I, I, I really do appreciate you doing this. Yeah, right on. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, all right, cool. So much to look at. Did you find anything? Dude. You've been like no, for hours. I know, I found some really cool stuff. I wanna show this to you. Okay. Can you, right. you wanna hold the camera for a second? Yeah. Like you're gonna think this is cool. These are versus Nintendo like packs, so when you'd get game upgrades for your Nintendo system, did you guys ever have the the system where it's kind of like... Yeah, where it's like side by side, right? It's like one unit, yeah. but it's got two? Yeah, you guys yeah. had that? Okay, I so, so... I think we did for a little while. So I think this is like, when you'd upgrade the game, they'd send you these and it would have your marquee in it, and it would have like, you know, it'd have like the chips in it, and it, this is super cool. Like someone, there's definitely a collector that would even just want this case, but... Let's see what else is in these, because there's a couple more. Oh, this one feels heavy. Okay, so, Ooh, heavy, so this one- Heavy's good, right? Yes, yeah, so, right? So this says Hogan's Alley. Oh my God, dude. This has the Hogan's Alley marquee. It's like a sheet of glass. Yeah, but you wanna know why it's cool? Look how it's cut. See, it's cut, because you you must for, have had yeah, one of those. Two yeah, one. those. And it has versus tennis in it, too. Wow, these are really cool, man. I mean, there's definitely collectors. I don't know how I didn't notice this stuff when we were here last time. I guess just, it doesn't really look like much, right? It's you, just you were overwhelmed. <laughs> I get it, you're a kid in a candy store. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude. Okay, one of my favorite games is Castlevania. So this is for versus Castlevania. And there's crazy psycho Castlevania fans out there. Oh, there's nothing in this, this one. one. No? Oh, wait. Wait, what is that one on top? Actually, I don't know. Let's see. Dude, you have no idea. This is so neat. Okay, so. Oh, is that the topper? Yes, look at this. That's the versus Castlevania topper, dude. Now I want to see what's in that other box. All right. So this one says Duck Hunt. I remember Duck Hunt being in one of those two in ones. So it has a versus tennis marquee. It has a Duck Hunt marquee too. What? Yeah, they're glass. So I got to be careful. Yeah, that's really cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, these are neat, man. I mean, these are definitely like collectors would be wanting stuff like this. That's for sure. And I think this was for a topper that you may or may not have had because there's nothing else in here. Right. Or maybe it's, you know, been sold off or whatever. There's some stuff up here. Okay. I didn't I didn't look up there and I'm wondering like could we maybe Well take those a look? were like I think majority of those were the monitoring hush. Yeah, I mean Do you think it's not worth looking up there? Yeah, I mean Dude, we found stuff all throughout this thing. I mean I don't know. It Let's do that really quick. Oh, do you mind? The, other, the only other spot I haven't looked is like over here. So Cole, I know I saw this when I was here last time. It's it's in a Thomas Wave system. There's actually a guy locally that's been telling me, he's like, hey, if you have an extra one, like, I don't know if you'd part ways with it, but all right, there's just coin doors. Dude, <laughs> come on. Did you like plant stuff in here I from swear, last time? I swear I didn't. I see a killer instinct back here and it says works, that's but is it a real killer instinct? Let's see. Ooh, it's. Hold on, it's kind of crunchy. That is 1,000% a Killer Instinct board. Holy yep. Moly. Yeah, I know a lot of people looking for these. It says it works. How did I miss like all of this stuff? All right, everything else is just kind of like basic, nothing, nothing crazy. But that's what a, a killer crazy. Instinct. But that's a yeah, that's a really good discovery. And don't you guys, you guys actually have a Killer we Instinct, have one. so you need it's, this as a spare. Yeah, I, I think it needs help. I'm not sure what we have well, going you can on with give it. Give it to me. I guess the only there's other thing all... is there's this stuff up here. That's the only other thing I haven't looked at. Yeah, because a lot of this looks like just monitor stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's all pretty much just monitors, a bezel, random trackball. I don't know. I kind of can't get that in there. Got... You want to you well, look real quick? Well, that one's got a tag on it right here. What's that one? There's no way this is what it says it is. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way that is it. Dude, the there's grid. No way. I remember there being a grid oh. here. I remember, you know, down in the main pit area, right? Yeah. Where the two hockey table, the air hockey tables are. Yeah. On the left side, right by the Connect Four, I remember there being two grids back to back. Um, Shut up. I don't know why that sticks out in my mind, but I remember playing that grid. That game was so fun where you're in like the arena, right? Yeah, you it's get like the a, a first-person shooter, yeah. I remember there was like a megaphone gun where if you shot it at the dude, it like shook him <laughs> apart. Yeah. yeah. I got a chance to play the grid last year at Galloping Ghost, and man, this game is awesome. It was developed by Midway and released in the year 2000. It was actually Midway's last arcade game. It's a third-person shooter which consists of a super violent television game show hosted by a Smash TV-like host, very reminiscent of the movie Running Man. One of the coolest things about it, though, 
is that local multiplayer is possible with up to six players by linking up multiple cabinets. Very innovative for its time. This should not be sitting in a graveyard. We need to resurrect it. As a matter of fact, let's make it a highlight of the Castles and Coasters Arcade. I just need to convince Cole, but I think he's on board. The one thing is, I'm gonna need the community's help on this one. It's like, it looks like there's two of them up here. I mean, I see one you here. You would know better than me. Yeah, if okay, we pull it on. down, let's Let just see. see. Let's see. Well, this is, okay, this is And the it says working one. on the tag, right? We'd have to it's test it, obviously, but it says working. Working, more money. See that? I wonder I why it says money. Were, Does that mean they that were going to sell it at one point? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Keep this for value later on. Oh wait, hold on. This has a ton of cables hooked to it. That's good. That's a good thing. If the harness is still there, that means we could maybe. Uh, this thing break. should not okay. be sitting up here. That's oh, wait, for hold sure. On. Okay, so this actually has. Uh -oh. Dude, dude, there's two. There's <laughs> two of them. Shut up. Oh, is that the same one? Or? Both say working. Yeah. This is the grid, and then this oh, one says the grid. Oh my god. All right. Well, you know this okay. means one thing. Wow. We're bringing this thing back to life. Like, there's gonna, no way. This is not raise sitting from in a graveyard. Grid. Yeah, the grid is not sitting in a graveyard. I refuse. <laughs> That's not happening. Okay. All right. Last. Okay. I'm gonna put this down. I don't want to break this. Yeah. Let's be very careful oh with that. Gosh. That's no crunchy on that one. All right. So. Wait, actually, you know what? Hold on. I think. Because it had a pretty iconic like flight stick. Well, we, yeah, we, and we would Wait, need that. Here. It had like a 49-way joystick. We have a bunch of joysticks. I don't know Wait, if you was still... the trackball up there? Hold on. Well, you said a random trackball, right? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, okay, so that, so that's probably likely the trackball. Yeah, that. I remember it being but white. there's no joysticks up there, it doesn't look like. But we, well, we got a whole bunch of them coming this way. The likelihood of you guys having that's probably pretty slim, dude. Oh, uh, this is it. Dude, I think this is it. Let me see it. Hold on. Dude, tell me that's not the right no, one. I that actually, is the one. No, I had... actually think that's actually it. Dude, what the hell, man? No way! This is so cool. Is there another one? Or is it just um, this one? Hey, if we have one, one, that's great. We just have to source another one. By the way, I'm basically just I'm basically just uh roping you into where we're storing this cabinet. So okay. you said it. We got some big problems. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's been sold yet. <laughs> You're not selling it. You can't sell it. I refuse. You can't sell it. Well, dude. dude. All right. Well, okay. okay. So we need to put this in like some kind of First of all, here, take that back. We need to contain ourselves. And we here. need to, we need to basically preserve this somehow. So this can't stay in here because someone could. Because don't sometimes you guys sell stuff out of here and stuff. Well, or they no? well they'll part. Yeah, they'll go looking for okay. parts and we're taking those stuff. boards. We're putting them into some sort of like secured location, <laughs> not the roof, the vault. not the roof, and yeah, the, I'm. This is one hundred percent, one hundred percent my best discovery ever. I mean, to find Pretty these epic. boards. Cole, these boards don't exist. Like you can't find them. This was, yeah. so for those watching that are unfamiliar with it, this was Ed Boon's game after, so Ed Boon, Boon who did MK1, 2, 3, and 4. He was put on this project or went away from the Mortal Kombat series to do this. And this is an iconic game. It's this first time to see a first person shooter with these kind of unique controls. And it was toward the tail end of arcade days, but I played this at Galloping Ghost. It's freaking amazing. I, I'm so, I'm, I'm mind blown, mind blown. <laughs> mind blown, dude. Okay, this to me falls under the epic discovery category without question. I never see grid cabinets. I never see grid parts. They're very rare if you ask me. And I don't know how many of these cabinets were made. There's a guy on Twitter, it's Pinhead Company, and he's a big, huge, grid fan he has grid tournaments at his house other than him i don't know a lot of people trying to keep the grid alive so that's why i think this thing absolutely has to be resurrected but i don't know a whole lot about the grid i know we have a working piece well i think it's a working pcb so we have to test the pcb we have to see whether the joystick works and the trackball, which those are parts we should be able to find, but that's all we have. We don't have a cabinet. What should we do? Like, do we pay respects and reproduce the original cabinet? Do we try to find someone selling an empty cabinet? I mean, is there even anybody doing that? What should we do with this? I want the comments to be blasted on this video. Tell me what you think we should do, because I've thought about maybe recreating a cabinet where the two players are, are kind of facing each other, but you know, it's obviously not original. So I'm, I'm like torn on this one. I don't know what to do. So I need your help and comments. And if you know a lot about the grid, have worked on the grid in the past at an arcade, arcade operator, put that below. I need your help on it. This is going to take the community to figure this one out. Anyways, 
That's it for now, guys. If you enjoy the content, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and absolutely comment on this one. And that's it. We will see you on the next one.